What is up everybody, this is uh, Dumpsomer Let's Play. We're here to talk about a game called Area 51. This game is absolutely wonderful. It's fun and it's made by Midway, an amazing company who's made amazing games since I was a kid. The first time I played this game I was absolutely fascinated with the fact, and I thought it was true, the fact that Area 51 was hiding all this crazy stuff and these crazy stories about you know, genetic mutations and all this whole entire nine yards, and I thought it was just the coolest damn game I ever played. But I never beat it. And I never got that far in the game because I got really pissed off. I got really mad because I got to um, the point in the game where you, you have to go on this mission here that we're on right now, and you have to jump over the uh, electric uh, spike or electric. Um, the electricity pulsing back and forth and all I would do is just go around scanning people. I was like, okay, I thought it was funny. The commentary was like, oh yeah, just a little to the left. Kind of funny to me. You know, but the game, as playing it as an adult, was a little bit easier to, to uh, understand. The uh, game itself plays pretty well and it's, uh, even though it's a, <clears throat> it's a dated game, the game holds up pretty well for itself. It plays pretty damn well and I'm very impressed with how good the re replayability of this game is. You know, for most games that came out in this genre, for the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, and the uh, PC, for Steam now, and you can also get it your own free copy on the uh, website, which was pretty nice to know. Um, it was just even better. You know, a game that I loved and, and it was just so much fun. So fun just to go around and solve mysteries and grab a random hand and put it on like a scanner and you know, just immerse myself in the world of Area 51. A you know, game that just has opened my eyes up to a new generation of gaming. And I've tried uh, many different tricks on this level. Many different tricks to be able to jump up to where I want to go so I don't have to jump this stupid um, pattern of electricity, but there is a stupid pattern to it, and I would just die over and over and over. And when I finally got through, I was just thrilled. I wasn't sure what to do, but I looked behind myself, and there's a stupid ladder right there, and he's like, push the button. I'm like, push what button? I hate when a game tells you something to do, and you're like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like, um, uh, Gears of War kind of pissed me off the other day. He's like, quit your stalling, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, fucking, you stop nagging me on the damn game. This is a video game. This is not school. This is not where you can nag the loving shit out of me. You can't do that here. This is a video game. Um, enjoy the rest of the clip, guys. Hope you enjoy this game. Hope you had yourself a very good day. I'm going to be continuing this uh, quick uh, Let's Play. This is also a review for this game, too. A little quick review. Uh, a little short review. About an eight minute video. Not too bad, you know, if I don't say so myself. Um, you guys uh, like, I hope you like this video, if you liked it, like it, if you didn't like it, you know, I understand that, if you don't dislike it, go ahead and tell me, and I'll tell you the other one, I'll, uh, give, I appreciate your feedback there, um, if you're new, uh, subscribe to the channel, we have 150, and that's pretty, pretty big for me, from someone who's just a random nobody, in a random small little town, but, uh, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Once again, this is Dumpster Man, aka Brandon. Have yourself a great day. Thanks again. Bye.